Board of Education. We have David Capps, trustee for the Board of Education. Sally Madison, trustee for the Board of Education. Frederick Weaver, trustee for the Board of Education. Shelly Holt, Superintendent, Wayne Westland School. Dion McCrary, Counselor for the Taken Education Center. I would also like all Tinkham staff in the audience to please stand at this time to be recognized. while at the University of California at Berkeley and taught at all levels from elementary to postgraduate master's level college courses. <laughs> Dr. Holt has a Bachelor of Arts degree in Psychology from UC Berkeley, a yeah. teaching credential from California State University, Hayward, a Master of Arts degree in Educational Leadership from California State University, Sacramento, and a doctoral degree in urban educational leadership from the University of Southern California, which is the only school with the Crimson Robe. <laughs> Dr. Holt is married with seven children ranging from 24 years old to 21 months old. She prides herself on being an advocate for all children, a support for leaders and teachers at all levels, and believes that through collective listening, empathy, compassion, patience for one another, and a relentless focus on rigor, we will build not only a strong school district, but a community within which we can continue to be proud to raise our families. children attend P.D. Graham Elementary and Wayne Memorial High School. It is my pleasure to introduce our school superintendent, Dr. Shelley Holt. Greetings, class of 2018. Woo! achieving this milestone moment in time for each and every one of you. Congratulations to your families and parents. You made it. And although at times it didn't feel like it could come soon enough, there is always that other feeling now where we just want a little bit more time before our babies become the men and women of the future that we have prepared them to be. This is my first time here as superintendent. So please just allow me one moment to take it in. more concerned with what was coming in on my pager when I graduated. 
than anything else. So I'm kind of dating myself. But here's the deal. Having been in the workforce since I was 14 years old, I've seen quite a bit. And I truly believe that each and every one of you has the intellectual ability to fulfill all of your dreams. It's very rare that knowing how to do the work is the problem. It is usually what some say are the soft skills that make it a little bit more, make life a little bit more difficult to manage. So that being said, I'm gonna take a few minutes to give you a few lessons that 25 year old me that's standing here <laughs> would have told 17 year old me when I was sitting there when I was sitting in your exact same spot. And I've tied each of these to our social emotional competencies. So the first one I'm gonna tell you, first of all, learn who you are as well as who you are not. And do not be afraid to be your authentic self. This is the concept of self-awareness. Nelson Mandela is credited with saying, it is our deepest fear, it is, our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate, our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Well, I ask you, who are you not to be? Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We were born to make manifest the glory that is within us. It is not just in some of us. It is in everyone. And, we, and as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. So I tell you, avoid letting fear shackle you from the possibilities that lie ahead for you. Know who you are and who you are not. Do things in your own way. Walk confidently into your dreams and know that in the end, you will garner more respect for being your authentic self than being what others think you should be. In other words, do you. The second one is Deepak Chopra, who is a philosopher. He said, what other people think or say about you is none of your business. If you start making that your business, you will be offended the rest of your life. In the recent days, Drake would say, I got fake people showing fake love to me. Right up to my face. Once again, here's the deal. How you handle it when you find out what people are saying says more about you than it does about them. This is extremely hard and it's the concept of self-management. Being an adult is not about doing what you want to do all the time. It is truly about managing your emotions and your time to do what you have to do in order to do what you want to do. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. stated, the ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands in times of challenge and controversy. You didn't get, so number three is you didn't get here by yourself. Wherever you think you're going, I promise you, you're not going to get there by yourself either. You will need other people, which means you will need to know how to build and sustain relationships. This is the third concept of relationship skills. Each of you builds relationships in your own way. One point of advice is that when you find the people that you are blessed to work with, allow them to change your mind. You are all strong and brilliant, but you're not always right. Respect the relationships with the people around you enough to change your mind and admit when you're wrong. It will go a long way for each of you as leaders. John Glenn High School valedictory speaker Ashley Socia referenced Eric Thomas who said, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, you will then be successful. This could not be more true and the actual part of this has to do with the concept of responsible decision making. Every decision you make has consequences. Therefore, choose wisely and understand that those who are successful have sacrificed in order to get there. 
Personally, I can tell you there were many parties and events that I didn't do that landed me here. It's not what I did do, it's more about what I didn't do. Finally, show kindness and compassion through listening intently with every fiber in your being. This is the concept of social awareness. This is something that is a constant struggle in our fast-paced world where answers are more valuable than the process. We have all seen this play out in the Black Lives, Blue Lives, All Lives Matter movements. These are all a result of a group of people feeling that they were not heard or appreciated. Because we as a society, we have chosen not to listen to one another. You have the power to change this. You are the next generation. When we listen, we can truly allow ourselves to see situations from the perspective of another, empathize with them, and it becomes easier to build relationships and make responsible decisions. Each and every one of you is a leader of the future, and there is no room for fear in the courageous leadership that is necessary to change the world we live in. As I look into each and every one of your eyes and listen to your stories, which believe me, Ms. Doman has told me many of you. It is beyond inspirational and reassuring that my social security is going to be okay. You are thoughtful, you are kind, but you are a feisty generation. And you are not going to accept the status quo as the be all at all. Our generation has opened the door, but now it's up to you to bust through that door and tear down the walls of impossibility and small thinking. Continue to be creative and innovative, and innovative in ways that people on this stage have never thought possible. We believe in you and are counting on you for your fearless leadership. Parents, I have just two quick thoughts. Push your children up and try your best, no matter how crazy it sounds, to elevate your children's dreams and help show them the path to make their dreams a reality. Secondly, make it your business to remind them to enjoy the moment. One of my favorite song lyrics by an artist that is considered a true lyricist, he says, you better lose yourself in the music the moment you own it. You better never let it go. You only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. I stand here today as living proof that dreams do come true. But I would have never made it if it weren't for my daddy telling me, constantly reminding me that I was good enough and to enjoy the moments of the journey. Tonight, each of you have taken one more step to making your dreams come true. And Kendrick Lamar said the other day, we gonna be all right. In closing, I'll leave you with the same words I used to say when I was a principal. Every day on the intercom, I told my babies, if no one told you they loved you today, I want you to remember, Dr. Holt loves you, and I'll always be right here. Excellence is the expectation. Make it a great day. God bless. Thank you, Dr. Holt. Each year, the TECOM staff nominates graduates to represent the 2018 graduating class. I am pleased to introduce you to our two graduation speakers representing Tinkham Educational Center this year. Please help me welcome to the podium, Mr. Jaden Smith. What's good, my Tinker family? I'm Jaden Smith. No, I'm not Will Smith's son. My father's name is John Smith, and he is sitting out there right now. I want to tell you, Pops, I did it. I started my high school years at Wayne Memorial, and I wasn't taking school seriously. I wasn't trying to get, I was trying to get by my popularity and wasn't taking my classes seriously. I struggled to pass one class and the rest I was failing. There was no way that I was going to graduate. Now I'm graduating with the biggest class ever at Tinko, the class of 2018. When I came to Tinko, 
I felt welcome and I was encouraged from the moment I stepped in the door to graduate on time. My number one goal was to pass all my classes and I wanted my friends to see that you can have fun and pass all your classes at the same time. Another goal of mine was to become a mentor and to start a men's mentoring group where I could reach the younger generation to tell them that there's always someone in your corner and I wanted the younger students to know that they will always have an older brother when they need one. I know I have met my goals for now. I am excited to start working on new goals as I want to see the young men that I mentored for the last time. This year, I received this note from one of them. It said, you're cool and you're going to be someone in the future. And to that, I want to say to him, you are too, man. So many people at Tinkum helped me beat my goals. Shout out to my Tinkum moms, Ms. C. Mack and Ms. Dozo, for staying on me. For staying on me and making sure that I'm doing what I need to do as if they were my real mother. Thanks to Ms. Milstead for caring about me, never giving up on me, and helping me with my mentoring program. You always have a smile on your face and you're always jamming. Thanks to Ms. Dolan for allowing me to come here and be myself caring about me, being hard on me, but in a good way because we all need someone to keep it real. I also want to give a big thanks to my mom for always being there for me. I love you, mom. My advice to everyone in this room, no matter what your age is, you need to build a healthy relationship. What I mean by that is you need to find someone or two people to go to when you need to share your struggles or share your successes. You need to find that one person who will hear you when you're angry, pick you up when you're down, and be on your side through thick and thin. This is the support that I received when I came to Tinker. After graduation, after graduation, I would go to college and study law and become a defensive lawyer. My ultimate goal is to play the NFL, if it's God's will. On my way to the NFL, I will work on becoming a better man because there's always room for improvement in life. Look at me, I went from failing to a full rise scholarship. My last advice to you is a piece of advice my dad gave me. Everyone has a minor setback to set them up for a major comeback. So now it's on you. It's time to make your comeback. 2018, we did it. Yes, sir.
Thank you for giving me the time I needed to get back to school, and now for being so proud of me. And happy birthday to my brother Tyler. My advice to future students is to find someone to talk to who will be supportive of you. I found an amazing group of friends and teachers who were always there for me. After finishing my classes in March, I started applying to Baker College. I am in the process of being admitted to their physical therapy assistant program, and I look forward to being in new situations. Everyone always says, if I did it, you can do it too. And I agree, but it doesn't come easy. You have to work for it, and you have to want it. Find good friends, talk to your teachers, encourage others, work hard, and make your future your own. Congrats, class of 2018. Thank you, class representatives, for sharing your personal thoughts, struggles, and courage with us this evening. You did a great job. May you continue to set an example for us. Next, please welcome Ms. Shauna Walker, President of the Board of Education.
of the Alternative Education Staff Scholarship, Ed Wan.
Shauna Bird, will you please come up here and lead the turning of the tassels, please? Thank you. Hello, graduates. Tonight we move our tassels to symbolize movement from students to graduates. Please stand and join me.